Hello and welcome to Ike's TV. Andy in top corner and a familiar guest. It's great to have him back as always. Always a pleasure to talk to Luke. Luke, great that you join, mate. No worries, mate. Thanks for having us on again. Not a problem. Uh, Andy, where do you want to start? Where do you want to end on this, mate? I mean, there's so much to talk about. Wembley Wars, I mean. Um, I'll, let, I'll let you have your take on it, then we'll get, get to questions about that. Well, first of all, I'm still knackered, to put it that way. Um, mm. I've gone through every emotion and I can't really describe emotion uh, about the game. Um, it's a mixture of disappointment, but proud of players, how they've performed, um, how we got to playoffs anyway, you know, considering. Um, I think we've had a brilliant season, honestly, do. Um, yeah, refereeing decisions, uh, it shows you can end VAR all you want. If they're not going to get, they're not going to get, end it there. Um, I don't know, mate, I'm just, I can't put it into words, honestly, I can't. I'm, loads of emotions, and I mean, it's not end at world, I know it ain't. Uh, I think it'll take a few days for me to get off of it. Um, so you know it went and that more to it on his way back. I absolutely hated that journey, uh, I must admit. Um, but yeah, I thought we I thought we did well. I, I must admit I thought we were a lot better team, honestly though. And people came up to me at work today, said exactly the same. Who's not even banned for supporters? Um so but it don't mean it, to me it don't mean no. No it's gonna change. They're not gonna change. Result. EFL's not going to be too monkeys about it. Um, I don't. I think it just some of the fast season there in one game. Um, don't seem to get no. I said to my day before, everything went against us. We don't seem to be getting no up front from this referee. Um, I don't know, mate. Like I said, just I'm knackered and like I, said, I don't know. Like I, said, I just can't pinpoint it, but I feel at the minute it's just loads of emotions just flashing at the minute. I'll pinpoint mine is that I feel numb and sick because I think officiating was shite, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I've got, and I've I know got there's that. been a lot of there's been a lot of people trying to congratulate Sheffield Wednesday and this and that, and I can't, I can't, I, I can't congratulate him on. I don't think it was attendance FC and that. I've been trying to keep my peace and not put much out on social media. I've been trying to keep it for this. And this is what I'm going to call it out now. And people will probably say, well, you should be this. And no, I'm calling it for what it is. I think officiating was shite. And I think it has yeah. been all season. And it's not just been for Bound. I think it's been at EFL in general. And what, what made me feel sick to teeth is very what last kick at league. Last kick, straight after the final whistle. 12, you know, it, there were even rumours going off in, in up its stands. He wanted a card. Look back. Even Callis uh, come out an interview by ITV, and whether he'll get a rap on knuckles from me, I don't know. He's called it out. He's called it officiating poor, and fair play to him for calling it out. And that's what I think a lot of uh, what can I say? Managers or coaches, you know, Duff has called it out. And whether they get a rap on knuckles or a fine, I'll take that all day long because I'm fed up of people trying to cover stuff up and paint other glossy things and trying excuses. Call it out for what it is. Call it yeah. out. It's been shit. Call it out, but it's been poor. You know, you, you even get Sky commentators coming out and they've told Duff, they've looked back on it and it, it bore it a penalty. And this is like from Clinton Morrison, who was his ex Sheffield Wednesday player. So when people like that coming out and calling it, I'm not like apologizing for anybody coming out or any Sheffield fans or anybody turning around and saying, no, oh, nearly being harsh or you're being biased. No, I'm not. When you've got other fans coming up and actually messaging private on, you know, Peter fans, uh, Luton Town fans, and they're watching it, you know, it's a defining moment. Defining moment, lads. I felt sorry for lads in that game. They, they played against a team plus the officials, and it's got to yeah. the stage where they played vast majority. If they'd gone down to penalties, which I think we, we should have deserved to have got there, penalties at least penalties. And yeah, Luke O'Connell, like, fluffed a chance. We hit crossbar, we had his chances, but it do not take away from it that we should have had a penalty. And also, I feel it should have been yellow card. That's my yeah. take on it. Uh, Luke, I mean, you know what, what, you know what, what's your thoughts on it, mate? 
Uh, I, it's gut wrenching, really, mate, to lose it with last, literally the last kick at game. I mean, uh, it's uh, it's same old story. A, a lot of time. I mean, ever since I've been watching football, you know, barring probably the Stendhal first away game against Wednesday, we were absolutely awful. But so many times we watched us play against Wednesday and uh, we're up with better side and never come out with, uh, with a result. Uh, and obviously with, with this being a playoff final, it, there were a lot riding on it. Didn't want to face them anyway. Um, I mean, the, uh, before the game, I were, I were absolutely bricking it for... Because I never fancy us anyway against Wednesday, no matter how well we play. I never fancy us against Wednesday. I, I mean, they probably say we're their bogey team because I think well, we only started to double our up this mm. season. But mm. I would say they're at the other years, they've been our bogey side. They didn't want to face us and we didn't want to face them. I certainly didn't want to face uh, Wednesday uh, at Wembley. And it's worst possible rival, worst team to lose to. Um, uh, yeah, really disappointing. Uh, where things panned out in terms of what could have been, what should have been, when you've got all the rest of the country saying it, including Wednesday fans as well, which is fair, very fair of them uh, to say that that's a penalty. All day long. I mean, I'm sat there watching it and I'm thinking, why, 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 am, why was the no VAR? Why is the VAR? What, what? They didn't need VAR yesterday. What, what, what point in having it? Because the referee's decision was no penalty. The referee made that decision without VAR, and the referee sent uh, Phillips off without VAR. So, what was the need for it? Now, you know, I, I mean, listen. When that's that's, I've, I've already said to one of my mates that's a Wednesday fan. I've, I've no against them. It's not them. Have the issue with. It's the officiating Wednesday, you know. I mean, in hindsight, you know, it's even it's an art top three going up. But obviously, on yesterday's game, you know, that, that doesn't make it right. You know what I mean? that It's even it's set up in terms of the top three. But the uh, the game yesterday, you know, felt it felt very, very, very uh, strange. And this is what everybody's problem is with VAR. They're still getting the decisions wrong. They're still getting them wrong, and and I do not know how it how, how it's possible, really. Uh, listen, we don't know if we'd have gone on and won. We, I, I thought we were better side throughout the whole ninety minutes. Um, well, even in extra time, I thought we were. Um, it didn't help going down to ten men. What I liked is we carried on playing football. You know, out at both, out at two sides, we were playing football. We want, we kept passing and moving, passing and moving. It was good to watch. Mm. Like I said, even with ten men, it was good to watch. Uh, and you know, I didn't see a lot of football really from Wednesday. I saw just a lot of balls up to Smith and back it, and and their strikers trying to trying to back into defenders and old ball up, uh, which is fair enough. I mean, we started doing it a bit with Norwood, and I, I've got to say. What, what a player, you know what I mean? I, I build him a bloody statue. Nah, with, with that second half heroics when he came on, he made a difference. Yeah. Uh, ratting from, as soon as he got on, ratting, ratting, ratting. Uh, and I thought, you know, we had chances. Wednesday probably, I mean, Wednesday obviously had more chances purely for the fact we were down to 10 men, we were stretched. But I've never seen a team defend for their lives as well as what Barnsley did yesterday. Mm. They they made me proud, you know. I were, I were, I didn't. My overall thought before the game is, you know, we're going to get absolutely spanked just because it, it's Wednesday, Wembley, big pitch, etc. You know, they'd just come off back of beating Peterborough, being four 0 down. Uh, so that was my overall feeling of it. And Barnsley had a bit of an edgy run in towards end, just got past Bolton, who I thought were poor. And uh, I was thinking, oh, God. I, thought, I, mean, you just, I was just thinking it worse. You, you shouldn't do, but I, I did. Uh, but I couldn't have been more wrong with my thoughts. You know, it were absolutely heroic performance from man to man. Uh, I was gutted for him, absolutely gutted for him. I was gutted for everyone, all fans. It's worst possible way to lose a playoff final, uh, and literally the last, the last second, the second longer. You know, uh, could he save it? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna criticise uh, keeper for it because I thought he had an absolutely great 
great game. Anderson, I mean, Anderson, ah, tremendous, tremendous. It's, it's like I said, but it does go back. The big talking point is the officiating and like you said, it's been a, it's been happening a lot all season with Barnsley. Not one penalty all season, you know. So it's very very strange there. Uh, but if they can't see, that's a penalty. I mean, the red, the Phillips one. Uh, listen, I'd have took the penalty and gone down to ten men. I'd yeah. have took that. Yeah, I would have took that. Uh, but to not give us the penalty and then to send the player off, I think is very very. Do I want to use the word dodgy? It's it's harsh on Barnsley, really. Them decisions. Um, so, yeah, that's the talking point. Obviously, I mean, I'll, it's con- congratulations to Wednesday. They did their bit, but super proud of Barnsley. They did their up their best throughout that 120 minutes. They made me proud, and and I think everybody else was proud of them as well because. What a performance, really! I, I, I honestly, it's it's we've won games and not played as well as that. Do you mm. know what I mean? And we've mm. and we've had eleven men on pitch, but yeah, it's gutting. It's worst way to lose a playoff final, isn't it? Really? Yeah, Andy, just want echo all thoughts. What uh, Luke said there, you know, he's covered it up. You know, which possible way to lose a playoff final? Um, we hope it won't. It won't going to be on about the officials like it has been for the best part of the season. But it has been, and it, it's a shame because it is a final, both at stake. And you know, if I'm being honest, I want to want it as a boundary fan, something like that to make a, a defining thing because it's like on your own merit kind of thing, and you, you played all the yeah. way through the season. You, you don't want to go up on you know something like dodgy like that, and you know, just like what Luke said, there, there is Wednesday fans what are actually coming out and saying, you know, it was a penalty. I can't understand that it's not being good. So as much as like we're like ranting and raving as boundary fans, there is. Genuine Wednesday fans via saying it won't have you know it it was a penalty. V has not been involved, but again, things at stake, uh, Andy, for both sides. There's a lot via riding on stuff, isn't it, mate? Yeah, this is uh, why I said on past videos when we got into the playoffs, a bit what playoffs. As I said before, even a, a referee decision can cost you going out. You can play as, as good as you want it. Referee makes a, uh, a decision. It's going to cost you a game and potentially go up. Um, and I think that's what I personally think that's what's happened. Um, whether I mean, I think I know there's been a few Wednesday fans saying exactly the same as us, but um, I, I've seen a lot that I think we've seen a different game uh, to what I was at yesterday. I know you, you only see it through. Um, your colours theme through your eyes, but um, where some stuff and you know they absolutely outplayed it and just had more goals. I've seen uh, Wednesday fans saying that on online. So I don't know. I don't know, mate. It's well, it's like having said that, though. They're saying that the players off at you know off at park and had more chances. But it's just like what Luke was saying there, though. Obviously, we're gonna have more chances. We're gonna put us up because we are stretched it back and. Is defending but, and you know, Ali said, Via, but put the literally chucking the, the bodies in front of it. Yeah. And even Darren Moore said at the end, he said, Full credit to balances because they, them being a central defender, he recognized that as that well, li- literally laying the lives on the floor for us. I, I, yeah, I'm never again, I've said before, I'm never had a problem with our back line. Our back line has been solid, and like I said the uh, other day as well, our first look at Anderson's been best center half at least. Honestly, though, um, and you couldn't tell that we were down to 10 men. Anybody else who would have just put, put it on TV or whatever, you wouldn't have known that we were a man short. Mm. Uh, in fact, in a strange kind of way, I think that made us play a little bit better, um, weirdly enough. But now it's like I said, I just can't, I don't know what else to, to feel. It's, it's, uh, it's a strange one, and yeah, even if we went up with a, a dodgy um, couple of decisions, it, it wouldn't have felt right in my book, but everybody's different, aren't they? Um, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just, yeah, shell shots, upset, but proud of them, 
Um, but yeah, um, if it were, what? if it were like, I don't know, how can I word it? Um, I'm just trying to think how to word it. What positives come out of this, Fernandi. I mean, you know, positives yeah. come out from this is that, I mean, look, you can open it up to Luke as well on this. Positives for me from this is that we only can get stronger from it because I think we all more or less from last season, uh, you know, last last season, it's just ended, sorry, but season we went down to, you know, if anybody asks us, you're going to be in a playoff final at Wembley, but it's not a shot hands off straight away, not a problem. But like looking back now, positive from it for me is that we only can get stronger from this. Um, so uh, I, I, I think, think that depends on summer. That depends yeah, on it, summer. Uh, yeah, Duff's the key, isn't it? We've got to keep hold of Duff uh, and Anderson. Do you think you will stay, Luke? Do you think Duff will I'll, stay? I'd like to think so. I'd like to think so. But I mean, it, it could. Remember what happened with Ishmael, like, I mean, I know that's a couple of years ago, like, I didn't lose, I know what happened the season after Ishmael, like, but I didn't lose a lot of sleep over him going personally. Um, but Duff, you know, he's got that, like what Stendhal had about him, really, took to town. I know it was hard, I suppose, for Ishmael to take to town because we were in lockdown for all that season, but, um, you know, He's brought belief back into fans uh, and what he's done with this squad. I mean, I've been at our on in beginning at season a lot, regular, and I was saying, you know, playoffs would be a bonus for us. I didn't, you know, it would have been a, it, well, it was a bonus for us. I didn't see what, where we could get into playoffs, especially early on, because we did start off really, really slow. Hmm. Um, but it was a bonus for us. We've just got to see what summer brings recruitment, players in, players out. There's going to be one of players, you know, mo what, maybe want to move up. Uh, teams that have gone up, yeah, yeah. they might want to sign some of these players. But going, just again, going back to the game, it's 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 very... The, the frustrating thing about it is that the the consistency, do you know what I mean? And Howard Webb were there yesterday. So I'd like to know what his, his thoughts were on it. But it's the, the inconsistency with them. They're not, they're not consistent. That and that a big that I'd send one at other playoff games and that happens. That's good. With another referee or a check, we are. It's it's uh, it's. Uh... Sorry about that. Before we ring in, mm -hmm. uh, in our game, it's it, it's not good. That's that's the problem with that's the problem with it. And yeah, I've ju I just have to go back to that because it is when you do sit down and think about it and you think why why is that not been given, but. Softer ones as well. Yeah. Softer ones are given, and that and that's mm. the most frustrating thing. But you know, we we had our chances as well. Con, going back again to it, extra time. Connell has to score, guys. Mm. He's yeah. got to mm. score. He's mm. got yeah. to score. We 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 we're three on two at one bit. I think. I think we're kitchen who bursts yeah. forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're kitchen. Yeah. We're three on two, um, mm. and. He's got to score. I mean, he's put it absolutely miles wide. That's the chance, and that probably wins it because I do believe we would have held on from there. We yeah. Would have. Good point. I mean, when Kitchen went I'll on back like run. To, yeah, I'll just let Andy Andy talk for now. I just need to put the phone on charge. Two secs. All right, mate. Yeah. I mean, uh, Andy, just what Luke was saying there is that we were, you know, that major run by Kitchen. Uh, yeah. At one point, I thought he was going to get brought down. It wouldn't be a free kick for us. And then he played it, I believe, to Luke Thomas. Then Thomas, yeah. I That's thought it. then Thomas was going to have a shot, and I think he crossed it at wrong, possibly at wrong time. Or Luke O'Connell could have had a bit more time on that to control and hit it. But that was his big moment, that wasn't it? It reminded me of when Kitchen put against Wednesdays at our place. Hmm. It would, it would, it was like deja vu. Mm. Uh, mm. I thought you should probably check it all the way. Mm. Uh, what a good uh, again he's, a, he's been another uh, brilliant player this season in Kitchen. Uh, I, I know he's had his critics at past, but I think he's been an absolute power at that. Um, honestly, do. But yeah, uh, I agree. Connell, he should have brought that here. 
I think you're going to be a little bit too clever, but you can't knock him. What a season he's had. Um, quality player. Um, I've always liked him. Um, even when I saw him at Fenley's for the next season, you could tell it had something about him. Um, so, yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, like, again, like I said as well, um, before playoffs, my main worry is as well. Um, I just, I just feel or felt that we were just lacking that little bit of solid to take us over. Um, and I, I think what it is, firstly, I think it's still up front. I still think we've got too many players up front that's probably a little bit too similar to each other. Um, I would have liked to see Norwood start at, at the beginning. Um, I do yeah, know why I'd have started think, Norwood. Yeah, I think, I mean, Teddy, don't get me wrong, he works, but I think you've got more chance of getting a goal out of Norwood than you do Teddy. Um, I honestly well, do. I thought Teddy, Andy, should have scored in uh, end of first half. He got a ball laid into him uh, and his touch were shocking he should have just shot it's bang on half time 45 minutes and he's having a touch he's, he's sent to a goal here. just whip your foot round it and have a go yeah. you know that, that were a chance for us I mean uh, it's, it's 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 hard to take in it really when you think about it like it's it's very yeah. hard to take um, but uh, you know when when you've got Majority of country and, and all football fans saying, you know, everyone, everyone's heartbroken for Barnsley, you know, because it is worst way to lose in 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 yeah. last. It's literally last kick. Five yeah. that header goes wide or whatever, he'll just blow it ref and, and it's penalties. And I think that's least we deserved. That's that's least we deserved with that performance. Uh, grit, determination to hold on. You know, we're always going to get. No matter what stats said, because if we go down to 10 men, you're always going to be up against it. And to be honest, I don't think we were that much up against it. Possession-wise, all right, they're going to have more chances. But I don't think in terms of overall football, you know, Wednesday showed what they're about. I don't think I don't think they did. Now, they didn't they didn't justify the 96 points on that game, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, I thought after that, they would have opened us up and they would have... But they didn't, you know what I mean? And Darren Moore's come out and, and, and said it. And like I said, I've seen a lot of... I've, I've got a mate who play football with who's, you know, said it as well. Um, that just... It's it's unlucky, but it, it happens. And, you know, it, it is a cruel cool game, football. And, I, and like I said, going back to the decisions thing, I know a lot might not believe it and stuff like that, but I, I'd, I'd, I'd come out and say the same thing if it were... If we we won that game and Wednesday got denied a stonewall penalty, you you I'd sit here and say we're bloody lucky. We, we were lucky. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. that should have been a penalty. You know, I've always been same. Even when you know I were doing channel near that, I were always very, mm-hmm. you know, sit sit up fence. Try. I mean, as a Barnsley fan, but you have got to be honest. Well, you can't right, be, yeah. Yeah. you know, biased. You know what I mean? I mean, how I, I many times of an Ishmael season, you know, I, I used to say if we've won that game, but by heck, it were a torrid performance. Yeah. Um, and you've got to you've got to say it as it is because, you know, otherwise you become, I don't know, what's the word? You like blink an idiot or something. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you just, you just, you're not seeing clear picture. You've got to see clear picture. Mm. You know, overall of a game, you know, Barnsley won everyone over with, fight and determination uh, and, and where they played football um, but obviously it's a results business Wednesday got the goal um, we've, we've won games before in the past where we've not been the best better side it, it just it, it happens it's it, it's cruel really it's cruel <laughs> yeah it's cruel. very cruel we always get done by Wednesday and all at last minute don't we how many times <laughs> I remember one in 20 that um Oh, go on. When were it? When Frimpong made his debut and got sent off. Oh, they scored it last kick it game. He made his debut at Hillsborough and they got yeah. sent they got sent 
he got sent off. We went. In fact, we went down to nine men that day. Jacob Mellis got sent off. Mellis. Last Mellis kick. Chris yeah. Brunt scored one at last minute. We scored loads. It happens all the time. All the time. <laughs> It just makes oh, it worse yeah. being in a final, doesn't it? So, yeah, yeah, uh, oh, yeah. It's, it's, worse. it's worse possible. We get it, what worse possible fixture for any Barnsley fan, yeah. And I said to James, my uh, James, who used to come on, I said, Oh, what Peterborough, mm. you know what I mean? We'd have been we all so much more relaxed. It's got us, everyone so more pumped up on it that the fact mm. it was Wednesday, mm. yeah. Uh, but. Yeah. It won't. Well, it's been one of them. I mean, I mentioned to Benson and all because he cornered the sub and he got subbed off. Uh, what I saw as well, they were on crutches and uh, yeah. foot cast on his uh, leg. So I mentioned to Benson, mm. I don't know what's up. I haven't read out about it, but he don't look great again. If it's his own injury, what he had before yeah. on the ankle, um, it might be one yeah. of them again. Seasons over now. Um, start again. Uh, recruitment's going to be key, uh, keeping all the players, players with a retained list and everything like that. So probably next week or two, that's going to be interesting. So we'll get another video out then. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah but like it's it's the recruitment, and then we'll have more of an idea if if Duff's prepared to stay. Do you think if I nobody mean, else comes in? Then. I'll open I'll open this out for you because we touched on it a bit and we, we got on a bad game. So just to round it off, then I mean, do you think I personally think he will stay? Uh, because he's not got no um, go on, get out clause in his contract, it's free contract, mm-hmm. right? Do you think the board have now realised and seen what we've got here? And if they allow Duff, I mean, it's down to Duff is sent, but if they allow Duff to leave, that point up of eight to uh, say, do you know what? We've got something special that this work could be all undone and it's going to be restart again. Do you think that's too much of a gamble to say, yeah, we'll allow Duff to go and it's like back in unknown again. I mean, let your guys answer that. I think they'll go back. Uh, Do you? Why? Why? Uh, if a club, like I said before, if the offer club, that amount of money, get him out of contract, and they offer Duff, obviously, the wage is going to go. And I honestly do think they'll go. Really? A lot, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of our top players are going to go as well. And are we going to get players at similar stand? It's going to be a, it's going to be another rebuilding, um, rebuilding squad this summer. I mean, um, so you think Duff's going to go? I think he's going to go. I won't be surprised if he does go to Huddersfield. I honestly do. Really? I, yeah, don't get me wrong. I, I'm open and plain that I'm wrong. But if he does go, yeah, I'll be disappointed, but I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised at all. Wow. I, 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 think, I think you'll go, honestly, I do. Wow. Luke? Uh, it's, I think it's too early to say, yeah, day after game. Um, I mean, I, we all, we know what we're going, what's happening past. Chances are it probably, it, it probably could go. Um, but I, like I said, I'd, I'd want him to stay. I'd like to see him... Stick with Barnsley, you know. He's uh, like I said, he's he's changed all team around in space of twelve months. Uh, he's got them playing good football. Uh, he's got players who we didn't necessarily think could cut it playing good football. Hmm. You know, at, at this moment in time, no, it's been uh, no rumours are coming out. Obviously, so I'd like I'd like him to stay. I don't. I, I couldn't say yeah or no on it. Because it's it's too early to say really, but fingers crossed he does stay, and and fingers crossed a lot of squad stays together to um, mm. to try again next season, and, and hopefully hopefully add to it. Because um, I think Andy's right with with the sense of we we have as much as even though we have got playoffs, we have, have missed something. We we have had missed something. Do you know what I mean? We've we, maybe that's that spot that standout player you could say. Um, which I don't think Barnes has had for quite a bit, really. You know, like your Adam Amels and your 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 oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Players that players that stand out, that that um, match oh, match winners in a way. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, we'll see what season, uh, see what next few weeks brings. These at vital vital times. Really, yeah. Where, yeah. 
Uh, um, every Barnsley fan fears, including January, because we just get pickpocketed all the time. But hopefully, it's it's uh, uh, it's it's changed now, and we can. I know we've always had to sell, and we've never had a problem with that. But obviously, we don't want to go down the road of restarting again because, like I said, how many more times are we gonna gonna have to do it? And you know, and then you you get stuck in a situation where, I mean, I did. If we didn't go up this season, you know, I, I thought, are we going to have players, uh, players and managers go, etc. If we don't go up, but mm. we've just got to fight too for now to keep them, set to them. Look, this is what the plan is going forward. We're going for top two next season. We're not. We don't want playoffs again. Um, yeah. And 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 hopefully, you know that that can. You've got to sell club to them. You've got to sell sell yeah, yeah. the the ambition. You know. Mm. Uh, Try and go for top two. Uh, and sell it I mean, to the fans as well, dad, isn't it? It works both and yeah. beyond that. It's got to sell it to the fans and all that yeah. for his intent. Yeah, my dad kept saying, like, um, you know, the 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 world building for next season, but obviously mm. playoffs was the bonus. So let's mm. see, let's see, let's see. I mean, too early to say, but I'd like to see us, you know, strengthen if we can, get some get rid of some at Deadwood. Mm. Um and, and see where we go from there. But, uh, yeah, again, though, disappointed still, obviously, from yeah. yesterday. But we, can, we can't change out now. It's it's done and dusted. Um, but, mm. uh, yeah, proud proud Red, honestly. Yeah. So, so proud of, of that performance. And everyone should be. There shouldn't be... Uh, a nitpick or anything on that performance. No. On the, on the, on the bounds of front, but certainly the refereeing, 100%. We'll yeah. we'll nitpick him till cows come home. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I, I, the slight nitpick I would have is what that Russell's doing at, uh, in in extra time trying to go round a player. Yeah. I'm thinking, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. I was like, having kittens at oh. time about what happening on my. He would give me an heart attack him when he came on. Yeah, it didn't, do, it didn't 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 help the nerves at time. Like I've got to admit on that one. So yeah, I've got, I've got to admit on that. Uh, Andy and Luke, pleasure. It's been great. Some debates and get some uh, thoughts and stuff. Not just game, but also close season. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I mean, let us know your thoughts. So yeah, the, a good day out in, in terms of you know the the day, not the result. Obviously, we're a long journey back for uh, a lot of us as well. Early hours in the morning, because traffic in Wembley to say it's a national stadium, accessing an art, and it's shocking. But we can make another program on that. Uh, let us know your thoughts as well. You know, officiating it's going to be interesting, bit one, and also about going to season. You know, can you see Duff going, staying, building next season's got to be a, a must sell it like what Luke's been saying, and Andy, not only selling it to players and manager, but sell it to fans as well and make it. You know, all well bouncing and uh, that good feel, good feel factor back. Disappointed end of the season. Uh, we got to final, but it won't to win. Just send it down, like we've said, move on and all be more well, come, come back bigger, better, and stronger. Thanks for watching. We'll keep you updated through the season. Um, I know football's ended, but there will be things happening, i.e., recruitment players coming and going. So try and keep you up to speed on stuff like that. Have a good rest of your summer if you can. Um, one thing left to say, you Reds.